to tell your parents? Mommy, wait. <coughs> you gay? Miho, you didn't have to buy this book to be able to talk to me. I know that, but you see that. I love you. I'm your mother. I love you as you are. Well, mommy, mommy, listen, I am not gay. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed. I'm just not. God made you this way, so you're okay with it. Layla, come no, on. I just met some people who have a problem. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I just don't understand why you thought you had to buy a book. Because it's not for me. me. It's not for me. It's for a friend. Okay? A friend. Yes, a friend. I mijo Christian. Stop it. You don't have to lie anymore. Anymore? And all this time, when you were a little boy painting me those pretty pictures. I... Well, that's because I'm an artist, Mom. I mijo. I'm not blind, okay? I saw the signs. You mean all that time he spends at the gym? And all the trouble you have with women? What trouble with women? It goes back all the way to Jessica. You were never able to work that out. Yeah, but that's not because I'm gay. I mean, I'm not gay, okay? What? I'm not. Could you, Layla, can you please help me out what? here and tell my mom that I am not gay? Tell her. Mrs. Vega, this book that Christian bought, it's for someone we know. That's right, a friend. And he hasn't come out to his parents yet, and they're not as nearly as accepting as you are. You're not gay? Don't sound so disappointed. You know I love you the way you are. Even though I can't make it work with women? Oh, I just want you to be happy. That's what most parents want for their kids. I'm just sorry that it's not the case for your friend. That's nice of you to say. Why, well, you seem so surprised. Well, I know how much you love Christian. <clears throat> it's just, you go to church every Sunday. I know what my religion teaches. You don't agree? I've always taught my kids to think for themselves. I should do the same for me. Does that mean you'll stop worrying about me settling down? Never. I will always worry about you. You just haven't found the right girl yet to settle down with. You'll see. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, right. Like for you, Shimon. <laughs> So? So. Why can't you give Oliver the book? The real reason. Look, Fish just came out to us. I don't know how he's going to feel about what? Well, knowing that I went out and... You went to the bookstore and found the gay section and picked out something to help him deal with his conservative parents? Uh, it wasn't that big a deal. A lot of guys wouldn't do it. They'd be afraid that somebody might think they're gay or worse, that someone might hit on them. Actually, uh, they offered me two numbers. <laughs> I knew it. Christian, as fine as you are, come on. You're like gay catnip. Gay catnip? What the hell is that? Christian, you're a great guy. And Oliver needs to know that you think he's a great guy, too. This book will mean a lot more coming from you than it will from me. All right. I'll give Fish the book. Hope it helps. He's freaked out about his parents. They're pretty tough, huh? They're not as understanding as your mom. Yeah, I can't believe she was that that glad to find out I was gay. <laughs> she did seem relieved. Yeah, it's, it's like she finally realized why I haven't given her any grandchildren. <laughs> she just wants you to be happy. Yeah, but her idea of happy is to settle down by a riding lawnmower and have 2.8 kids. She did not say that. She just thinks you haven't found the right girl yet. Too bad you're done with that, huh? It is too bad for you.